Thank you. Um, I thought I'll pick up two or three different points and then try and see if I can stitch them together and uh, uh, see if we can make it relevant for this audience. So first of all, thank you all for inviting me here. This is my first time. I'm sure there'll be many more occasions. Uh, you know, I was in, uh, so the other thing I do is also, I, I also run a public interest journalism initiative called India Spend, which essentially uses data to tell stories. Uh, we also launched a, a sister to that, a sister edition to that called Fact Check India, where we fact check statements that people in public life make, uh, all of which is picked up by newspapers and television organizations and so on in India and outside. Uh, outside. Both these are run as non-profits, so it's a very different model. So uh, I was in uh, at the Global Investigative Journalism Network conference about seven months ago in Rio, Brazil. Uh, and you know, there were all kinds of organizations from different parts of the world. We were obviously one of them. Uh, one of the questions uh, that was being asked and uh, in some ways being addressed was, uh, what is the future of news? I mean, you know, the same question that we are trying to ask here. Uh, the other question was, a subsidiary to that was, what is the future of investigative journalism? And this was being played out in, in, a, couple of, in a couple of places by, through different speakers, you know, someone from New York Times talking about it, someone from a small organization talking about it. So there are two or three things I took away. So one was that uh, the future, if one may say so, of investigative journalism is actually very bright. Secondly, uh, people were talking about the death of print and the death of journalism together. Today, they only talk about the death of print to some extent. And this is I'm talking about more in the US and uh, Europe, perhaps, not so much in India. But they're not necessarily talking about the death of journalism in the same breath. So these are two distinct things. The second is, uh, or the third is that people are talking about actually how journalism is flourishing and often the journalism of a nature which is actually making a difference, right? And, and when the examples that I'm referring to are examples from countries, I mean, beginning from North America down to Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Sweden, uh, which has sta shaken up governments, brought down uh, corporations, and fundamentally changed people's lives in some way or the other, or at least asked questions which led to things happening which obviously changed things. So the, the larger point is that most of this work, all of this work, which I'm, I'm now talking about, the, the life-changing stuff, seemed to me that it was happening actually on the digital platform. It, it's not happening on the traditional print, plat print or television platform, not to the same extent, which is not to say that the big, uh, the big New York Times of the world or uh, the Washington Post or so on are not doing investigative stuff, but a lot of that work has shifted to the digital world, uh, across the world, and it's also in some ways found a way to sustain itself, which is the big question that a lot of people ask. How will all this sustain itself and how, and uh, is there a future and so on. So this is the, the uh, what I would call the first piece to whether or not there's a future for digital, right? and, and then you can sort of split that up. The second is, I think, a question more to you, I think, which in some ways Rajiv also asked, and I would ask again, because I think it's an important question, and which is, when you wake up in the morning, what do you really want to do? Right? Do you want to change the world? Uh, do you want to make a difference? Do you want to leave some kind of an impact on society? Uh, do you want to be known for having tried to do something in, uh, in, in your own way, wherever it is, or not? If the, if the answer to those first four or five questions is yes, then you should be in journalism. I, don't, I, I think that unless you found uh, a better way to keep yourself occupied. Uh, if you want to be in journalism, then the question of what medium it will be and how will it be kind of follows later. And that answer keeps shifting, right? So I was in uh, the Economic Times in 95, uh, maybe before some of you were born, uh, when we were launching an internet edition of the Economic Times. Uh, at that time, it was a complete hobby project, okay? Uh, it sounds bizarre today, but it was, it was almost like a hobby project, okay? Bunch of guys sitting there, anyone knows what the internet is? Internet was a dial-up internet, it was not uh, ubiquitous and on mobile, there was no mobiles either at that time. I said, okay, the two guys sitting there, uh, hey, uh, do you want to try this? So I said, yeah, I want to try this. And uh, so we were given a room and that was called the internet room and then, you know, the whole website was set up and so on. Uh, at that time, I think only the Hindu was uh, had set up an internet uh, a website, right? So until then, it was completely print. So uh, obviously, we've come a long way uh, uh, since then. But there are some questions or answers which have remained the same, which is why are we doing it? How are we doing it? Uh, at in the beginning, 
uh, we uh, most organizations uh, ran these as uh, separate organization i mean separate uh, separate divisions you had a print uh, division which did not know about the internet division because these were i mean i i was not part of it but it became a separate bunch of people who would sit in another room and you know keep putting it together uh, i think over time it's as is evident to most of you today it's it's all converged so the question therefore is uh, if i want to be a journalist if i want to uh, do something fundamentally different having chosen the field that i want to be in uh, is digital the right answer uh, the answer is unfortunately not fortunately or unfortunately but the answer is that really you've uh, you've in a way allowed i mean in a way uh, been preempted uh, the uh, i mean the, the the answer to that in some ways has been provided by technology or the march of technology so if in 95 i was talking about a situation where we were thinking of an internet as a hobby project today i think you're not even been given a choice of being whether to choose between digital and print and television and so on so which is really the i mean the last sort of uh, sub point in this which is that uh, there is no difference really uh, if you are starting today uh if you are looking at your consumers uh who are people like you or younger uh then you are really a digital journalist to start with you may have a sort of a dominant let's say a uh, role which is print driven or text driven you may have a dominant role which is video driven but in in all probability you will produce and create for digital and that is where in all probability you will get consumed as well right if there are i mean if there are questions about whether all of this will sustain that's a different one we can always come to it but i think the fundamental question in any uh, any business that people ask is uh, you know is there demand is there supply uh, the supply is huge and the demand is huge but there are few things which have shifted in the last decade or so and it's up in other parts of the world and india as well one is like i said the consumer is consuming differently today and all of us are consumers we know i mean you can when you when you want to look out for the news that happens you know how you're consuming it so you may consume it as digital uh, with brands like a uh, times of india as a brand uh, economic times as a brand you may consume it via social media uh, because of people you know uh, or people you don't know and over time you learn to trust who those you know and those you don't know uh, or you may uh, consume um, let's say something which is independently driven like blogs and so on and so forth right so but all all of that that entire world is digital there's no uh, there's no other world as i as i see it so having sort of posed that point let me now come to the next part which is what's the future for this in terms of will it sustain and so on so a couple of points here so one is uh, have you heard of ebay has everyone heard of ebay okay have you heard of pierre romedyar the founder of ebay some of you have okay so pierre romedyar uh, about Five months ago, put down 250 million dollars down and said uh, that's about 1,500 crores, uh, and said he wants to invest in independent media, which is mostly on the digital platform. Actually, almost entirely on the digital platform, right? So the difference between, let's say, uh, Pierre Omidyar and maybe most other uh, entrepreneurs is that Pierre uh, comes from the comes from the Silicon comes from Silicon Valley. right so his approach to news and the business of news and the future of news is really to say how can we use technology to drive this as opposed to saying can we you know build brands can we do paid content and all of that stuff so uh, i think to me that was a sort of very interesting inflection point the second day is that uh, i don't know how many of you know but uh, the new york times today gets more revenue from paid subscription online than from its uh, newspapers that it sells uh via whatever i mean via its traditional distribution thing so i mean note that you're getting the the uh, the number of the its revenue from digital subscriptions has overtaken traditional uh, subscription or traditional revenue routes uh, financial times uh, is uh, is not yet there but it's coming pretty close okay so these are two pretty good examples from the rest of the world about how uh, digital can potentially earn if it's the right product aimed at the right audiences and so on uh my sense is that it'll this is going to happen in india whether it will happen the same way or not i don't know it's too early uh the question to you is really uh do you have an option of being prepared for this world or not i think there is no option if you are a consumer of news in this fashion then you bet if you're a, and if you want to be a journalist for the reasons we talked about uh you need to be uh, uh shaping up to be a creator of uh, this news as well so i'll stop there and if there are any questions i'll be happy to take them thanks